Hello guys, my Taurus friends. This is your reading for January. Happy New Year, you guys. I pray that it is a great one for you guys. Um, although I do feel like there has been a struggle going on for um, some of you. So the Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords fall out initially before I turn the camera on. So I do feel like some of you guys have been struggling with something. Um, you've been hurt by something. And I feel that you're taking a time out to kind of like, you know, seek your own truth. You know, find out what the deal is for yourself here. And going through some healing. Okay. Let's see. What is going on around my Taurus friends? What is this sticking out right here? The moon. Cancer energy. The unknown. Of feeling, um, you know, up and feeling down and, and, and feeling emotional right now, I feel, okay? There's some things that you guys are trying to figure out, like I stated before. Um, just to come to your own truth, your own realization, you know. Hmm. What's crossing Taurus? Okay. Oh, we see the star here. Aquarius energy. The moon and the star. There's there's someone that's present that's trying to um, guide you towards your path here. Um, guide you out of the darkness. Your soulmate is here, actually. I'm seeing it. They're here. But I think that there there's something that's not allowing you to see what's really going on. So I think the fact that um, you are actually taking some time or would take some time out to kind of just like remove yourself from any situations that may be, um, you know, unclear to you and try to figure things out on your own come to your own realization then I think that would be a great thing because there's something that you're missing um, here okay what is the underlying issue here for Taurus two of wands straddling the fence is, is the underlying issue here um, knowing what it is that you want to do and just not doing it Okay, like being um, um, being indecisive somewhat. There could be a Libra here as well, but this is being indecisive. You know, the problem is you need to choose what it is that you want and go for it. Okay, don't half step with it. Choose what you want and go for it. Aries energy there. Let's see what is. What was going on in the recent past for Taurus? Two of Pentacles. You have two twos here right now. Um, hmm. You guys have a lot on your plate. And I feel like there's, there's something about somebody old and somebody new. Not necessarily old like an age, but like somebody from your past and somebody you've just met or somebody on your job. Um, there, there's something about not really knowing if you're making a mistake. Um, you're needing to know if you're making a mistake. You're needing to know if um, there's something again about making a choice between two people here but there's definitely someone here that is trying to bring you out of this darkness um, your shining star your soulmate um, your destiny your destiny is here in 2020 okay <clears throat> Capricorn energy let's see crowning thoughts for Taurus. The Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. The Wheel of Fortune is all about changes. But I do get, again, you got the Wheel of Fortune, which is Sagittarius and Piscean energy. 
um, whatever whatever's going on right now, I, and I see like you're sitting in the unknown, you're sitting in your feelings. Um, there's a guarantee that that's going to change and that's what the will of fortune is all about it's not necessarily that things are going to go great this is indicative of things that are down coming up and things that are up will go go down again you know it's like this constant like this is what that is it's like this constant changing okay so if you're feeling kind of lost and you're feeling like you know in your feelings on an emotional roller coaster not knowing what to do um, I think that in your mind and I think that you are going to manifest this change into your life so that you will um, come out of this fog and know what to do and actually start moving towards what it is that you want so I am getting that there's going to be some major changes for you in 2020 in your love life what's coming in for Taurus eight of wands moving forward mm -hmm. this is all about communication and and being able to like progress um, and fast at that very Sagittarius energy here with this eight of wands I do see you um, having a lot of changes coming in uh, moving very fast being being very communicative um, and all those sorts of things possibly even moving locations going to that person or that person coming towards you um, I do see a lot of changes going on here for you guys how does Taurus view this situation? The Hierophant, there you are. There you are. I think there are certain things that you feel like um, should be. The way you view certain things is, is the way that you feel like you know it should be. And I think that you you are wanting to share that with other people. I do think that um, there's something again that you are failing to see um, because you are so a lot of you guys are setting your ways for one um, whatever it is that you believe you believe it and there is no budging from that so or there's no nothing that somebody can actually do to persuade you to move away from what it is that you believe now the thing is, you have to come to it on your own, which is what I was saying before. This has to be something that you arrive at on your own. I think that's what you're doing. Because right now, I think you want something very traditional. You want things kind of your way. And I think you're, you are actually going through this moment of adjustment where you're trying to see things um, a different way. Or from somebody else's point of view you know I think you I think that's what where the pool is coming in for you hmm. what is influencing Taurus nine of swords overthinking overthinking is what that is this is like having this overactive imagination thinking things not thinking clearly Hmm. Hopes or fears. That's Gemini energy there. Hopes or fears. You know, I'm going to have to say this before I pull some more cards because um, I don't think I told you that. I was rubbing my eyes. Sorry. The Ace of Swords and the Four of Swords fell out before I actually started the camera. I don't want you guys to get caught up in... Um, thinking so much that you just completely like outthink yourselves <laughs> you know and that's where this nine of swords comes in at um you you can't just sit in your thoughts you can't just sit in your feelings you have to think about things um plan how you're going to do things and then get up and move you know you have to act on what it is that you are actually thinking about and what you're actually feeling so you won't get stuck in your head and, and stay stagnant okay because that's when that nine of swords energy comes in you kind of talk yourself out of things 
and um, you will actually make more out of a situation than what it really is in a negative way though you know let's see <clears throat> hopes or fears for Taurus the world the Saturn energy there's definitely somebody here that's guiding you hmm there's definitely somebody here that's guiding you that's trying to show you the way there's somebody trying to show you the way here um, very fixed energy with the world Saturn is here Saturn is the teacher Saturn is the father um, there's somebody that is destined to be in your life and I don't know if you see it, I don't know if you know it, but you're, I feel like your destiny, your soulmate, your husband, your your wife, and what I mean by husband and wife is like your mate, the person that um, you could possibly spend the remainder of your natural life with. They're here, okay? Um, the world is Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius energy. But I feel like you know, a lot of you guys are wanting to um, communicate with this person. If you're not communicating with them, you want to send them a message. Um, you want to travel to them. But um, definitely you, you want to see a change in your situation. There's something that's very unclear to you about uh, an old person and a new person or, or an old situation, a new situation. Something like that uh, is what I'm hearing, okay? Let's see, what is the outcome here for Taurus? Ace of Swords. It comes back out in the end. The truth. Realization. Victory. There's victory to be had here. There's definitely a victory to be had here. But there's changes that need to ensue. Um for that to happen there's something that you need to like really see in order for that to happen guys okay so that is what I have for you and I'll be speaking with you guys soon bye